right, welcome. This is going to be the vocab background builder for the cells unit. Now, as we have for the rest of the background builders, we will be taking notes on a sheet that looks a lot like this. And you should have received that from your teacher. If not, you can go ahead on your Schoology and, and print one off um, and get it in your notebook. Um, again, uh, you start with a term and rating yourself on your current understanding. We have one, um, I've never seen this term. Two, four, I can explain uh, the meaning to another individual. Putting the definition down and then doing some of the extra practice stuff on here, uh, breaking it down into parts, using it in a sentence, sketching it. I always really highly suggest that you draw some sort of a, sort of a picture for it as well, uh, giving some examples of that term. Uh, again, it's important. This extra practice is important to uh, solidifying uh, your understanding um, of the vocabulary that we're trying to build. So the first word we'll start off with will be compare. Now you'll note that compare isn't just a biology word, um, but we do use compare enough in this unit that we want to make sure everyone knows what we're talking about. Um, compare means to examine in order to note similarities. Again, um, it is looking at similarities only. And to go along with compare, we must be able to contrast, which means to examine in order to show the unlikeness or differences. And oftentimes we use compare and contrast together. And you'll hear teachers and people use contrast when they mean compare and compare when they really mean to contrast. So uh, we usually um, have students do compare and contrast, uh, comparing the, um, looking at the similarities and contrasting, looking at the differences. Innovation uh, means something new or different that is introduced. We often uh, use innovation with technology, uh, with uh, the way people think, you know, so the, in terms of cutting edge stuff. But innovation simply means something new or something different that gets introduced. Um, the innovation in terms of the cell and the cell theory will be the microscope. And the microscope doesn't seem very new, but as the, the technology has changed, something different took its uh, spot, was introduced. Um, to help us um, better our understanding of the cell. The word complexity means to be made up of different interconnected parts or pieces. If something is complex, it has high complexity, it's made up of lots of different pieces that are interconnecting and working together. If something has a lowered level of complexity, um, it is made up of a lot less of these different interconnected parts or pieces, it's much more simple. This whole next unit of on cells really revolves around function. And so function means the action, work, or activity that would be expected from an object, in this case, the cell or the cell parts. So um, simply put, it's the job. The job that a certain object might have. If we're gonna put it in in cell parts language, what job a cell part would have for the cell as a whole would be its function. And along with function comes structure. Structure is how things are made or what parts they're made of. Um, the meaning uh, here says the construction or arrangement of parts to make up a more complex system. Uh, the cell organelles or the cell parts make up the cell. Um, the cell parts are part of the structure of the cell. The term organelles is another name for smaller parts that make up a cell. So we'll often call organelles cell parts or um, cell parts we'll call organelles. We'll use those interchangeably. The word organelles actually um, refers to small organs um, because when they first looked at the cell we, they saw these smaller parts that looked like our own organs from our own human body. So um, they said, well, they're like little small organs like we see our heart or our lungs, and they call them organelles. Process, uh, you'll hear this a whole bunch of times, so we should be clear that a process is a series of actions directed towards accomplishing an end product. Um, some processes that you'll be familiar with uh, by the time you finish biology uh, would be a uh, process of photosynthesis, the process of cell division, 
the process of respiration. Uh, it, and all of those are have a series of actions directed towards accompli or accomplishing an end product. Uh, for instance, the, the uh, process of cell division, the end product is going to be two new cells. A vesicle is a small sac or a bladder-like cavity that gets filled with stuff. Uh, you'll hear vesicle when we're talking about the cell part called the Golgi apparatus. Uh, perhaps we're talking about uh, endocytosis or exocytosis or the movement um, across a membrane um, via a vesicle or a small sac that gets filled with something else. When we see the, the definition of membrane, it seems so simple. Uh, it's a thin outer covering. Yet when we go through this unit and we talk about how a membrane acts within the cell, we'll find out it's a lot more complicated uh, than that. But for cells and cell parts, that thin outer covering is usually um, composed of a, a macromolecule called a phospholipid, and it's built in two layers, so we're going to call it the phospholipid bilayer. Unicellular uh, organisms that are made up of a single cell, which should be no surprise since una means one and cellular refers to cells. Multicellular then means organism that's made up of a lot of cells multi meaning many cellular of the of cells so here we go many cells these many celled organisms usually are composed of groups of cells that have specialized jobs all working together uh, so that the whole uh, works correctly and that's going to bring us to the end of this background builder Again, you should have now a full set of uh, vocabulary background builder notes for the uh, cell unit.